I think that's actually lit. Yeah, it is. Baked beans and pork sausages. So I got this kit off eBay. I used to have one a long time ago and lost it. And I've been searching for one. And I've found it, so this is just a test to see if it works. I'm out in the barren wilderness of the back garden. Hunger struck me unexpectedly. What can I do? Yeah, I'll try the old methylated spirits stove, see if it works. The kit comes with this base, three saucepans and a lid which acts as a frying pan and a little kettle and a grip to use for the handle. So we'll just see what happens. It did say fill this burner halfway with methylated spirits but um yeah, I'm not sure if I managed to fill it halfway. It looks a bit less than half to me. Still cold at the minute. Nowhere near getting warm. Oh, I can see movement. It's bubbling. Let's bring you in. Bubbling movement. This could be good. I mean, that didn't take long at all, really. Keep it stirring so it don't stick to the pan.
pepper started boiling or bubbling fairly quick. I was surprised actually. Um, bottom of the pan's getting sooty, and I think it's just supposed to come through those holes at the edge, not up through the actual centre of it. But hey, who cares? I'm cooking sausage and beans. getting warmer. We see steam. In, in in reality you can obviously only cook one pan at once but how many pans are you going to be cooking when you're lost in your garden you know you're not going to be cooking a three course meal The bean juice is starting to thicken now as well. Oh yeah, that's getting hot in the middle. Fortunately, I've also got a couple of emergency sausage rolls. Temperatures the sausage yet. That's cooked. Whoa, that was seriously hot. So that's done. But what we also need is a cup of tea or coffee. And we'll get the little fairy kettle. Get that boiling. Enjoy these. Sausage and beans. Mm. This set was about 25 notes, including postage. 
but looking to buy them, you know, you're looking around 40 or 50, I think. Worth getting if you want to do this sort of thing. I mean, you can buy ones with gas bottles. I just think this is a bit more rugged and manly. So with having a, something like methylated spirits is you just make sure we don't set fire to everything. But there's heat as well as cooking power. Mm -mm -mm. Certainly makes being lost in the garden a bit more manageable so it seemed to have stuck to the pan either so that's always a bonus and i suppose if you did some like bacon or fried eggs in it that'd stick like thing but uh, beans meatballs soup Spaghetti, tinned curry. Some bubbles forming. Hmm. I love beans and sausage. I love baked beans. These little noggins on the camping knife, fork, and spoon come in handy as well. Stop it slipping in. No worse than your utensils dropping in it, and then the handles are all covered in food. I must say this is most enjoyable. Fishing, camping, hiking. Mm. The only thing you think about is you carry in liquid fuel in the shape of methylated spirits. But then if you carry in a gas bottle, you carry in gas bottles. So. Hexamine burners are probably the safest to carry around.
or must I? That is gorgeous. Never too proud to eat beans on toast, at uh, beans, or sausage and beans. Mmm. Well, that's that done with. I just need to wait for the kettle. I mean, that's nice and warm actually. Because it is actually a bit chilly out here. I can hear boiling noises and I can see steam. Let's have a look. We get in there. Let's see what we've got. Oh, Kenko Duo Cappuccino. How do you make this? Fill to the ridge, caution hot. Well, thanks for those thorough instructions. Well, that's the milk. Yeah, I can't remember how you make these, I won't open it yet, there's a wind will blow it away. That's the lid of the burner to put it out, drop it on. Bean juice on it already. Well, that kettle seems to be boiling. Yep, that's one boiling kettle. make these coffees, that's the milk, plop that in your cup. That's it, out. Make the milk hot. This is a knife off the knife and fork and spoon sit. You make the frothy milk part of the coffee. It feels like it's sticking. the inner seal and there's a ridge there and I think that's the ridge you fill to but you know instructions are just a guide not absolute law give that a stir into the coffee if you want to make sure you get all of the coffee goodness like I do just make sure we don't waste any of that delicious coffee goodness I will do pour that in there pour the rest of the hot water in there for a cleaning Stir this up. And there we have it. We've had sausage and beans. And a nice Cappuccino, I think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's hot. So, yeah, all in all, very pleased with that. Now I feel ready to face the rest of the garden, see if I can find my way home. 
there you go, that's the paraffin burner cooker. Beans on toast, uh, sausage and beans, sausage roll, a nice cup of coffee to go afterwards. Jesus, it's hot as well. So, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you later.